Hey everyone, CV Tech here, uh, making a little video tonight discussing NFC uh, on cell phones. Now, uh, I know some like having NFC, some don't care, some don't like it, um, but I kind of want to discuss NFC on budget devices. Now, I know that the majority of flagship phones have NFC on their phones. Uh, but I'm wanting to kind of discuss budget devices and, you know, older devices that were budget, budget-based devices. You've seen NFC on certain model phones. Uh, one being the LG Volt Original, you know, here that, that has been out for a little while. You know, this phone is pretty loaded. has NFC, the IR Blaster, and this phone right here is still a very expensive phone uh, if you go to somewhere like Best Buy and you don't find it on sale you'll pay a hundred and seventy nine dollars for this phone still and this is a pretty much obsolete out of date phone that is still running KitKat and you'll still pay one seventy nine ninety nine for it and you got phones like the LG Volt 2 which is supposed to be an upgrade from the Volt 1 and it is as far as design and screens bigger and better cameras and stuff like that and a little bit of processor but you know they strip the phone they strip, they strip it of NFC they strip it um, of the IR Blaster and you know when you go from an LG Volt red original to an LG Volt 2 you figure it have better specs along with the same features that was, you know, that was involved with the original Volt um, that's why you can buy this phone right here right now for half the price of the original Volt because it's just not quite as good or feature packed as the original Volt. Uh, another phone here that I want to make mention of that's three years old that came out September of 2012 is the old Samsung Galaxy Victory uh, on Virgin Mobile. Now this is an old phone. It has been out I said, for about three years now and this phone's got NFC. Uh, you know, on an old, outdated, three-year-old, now this is LTE, but it is old, and it does have NFC. And you kind of wonder, you know, why would they put NFC on a lower end, which actually back in 2012, this was actually considered a mid-range device, uh, from what I have heard and what I have read. And the phone does still perform very well, being as old as it is, and the, light, and the small processor that it holds. But, you know, you kind of sometimes wonder why, you know, they would put NFC on a phone that's three years old, even though, you know, of course, then it was new and everything, but still, and why they would leave it out of a phone like the ZTE Warp Elite, which is a big, you know, feature packed phone that's not too, that's pretty expensive, you know, why they would leave NFC out of this phone is beyond me, or the HTC Desire 626S and even more surprisingly why they would leave it off of the LG G Stylo I mean you know you have phones like the you know like I said the original LG Volt you know that's feature packed and honestly you can buy the LG G Stylo for cheaper than you can buy the original LG Volt so it kind of you know it's kind of you know I mean I like NFC more that I have, more than I've, more that I have used NFC a little bit. You know, been able to beam picture just by you know holding the phones together, tapping the screen, and sending one photo to another phone. I mean, just that fast is really awesome to do. Having tap to pay, you know, it's really kind of cool. And it seems like that for some reason, um, you know, all these manufacturers and you know Boost Mobile always seems to get the short end of the stick when it comes to specs and stuff like that on phones you know you have a G Stylo that has half the ROM half the RAM um, I believe it's half the I, believe, I think it's half the RAM uh, from Boost Mobile to Metro PCS T-Mobile which is kinda crazy I mean you figured that if you're gonna put these specs in this phone why not have it for all devices it's just kind of a you know a weird thing but that's kind of off topic um, but you know you have phones that are really nice spec phones you know but it seems like that the, it seems like that now all these budget devices and all these budget um, 
the, all these carriers that are making these budget phones for Cricket and um, you know Boost Mobile and Virgin Mobile. It's like they're backing up. I mean, you had I mean last year, all you heard about was the 1.2 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 410 processor. That was like the norm on every phone that you bought. And the past two or three phones that I have bought here recently has had the 1.1 gigahertz um, quad core Snapdragon 210 processor, which is a good processor. Um, and actually, some on some phones it actually runs as smooth um, as a 410. But it's like they're backing up. I mean, you got phones like the Carousera Hybrid Icon that also has NFC, and this is a phone here that you would really think would not offer NFC, Carousera Hybrid Icon, but it does. And you know, so this phone's been out for a while also, and if I'm not mistaken. The ZTE Warp 4G that came out a couple of years ago, I think it also comes with NFC. So it makes you kind of wonder why they're leaving stuff like that out of phones now. Because it is a popular thing, you know, especially with a tap to pay. You know, you can send pictures through MMS and stuff like that. But it's really kind of a neat feature when you can just, you know, hold back to back like this right here. Bam send a picture and whatever you want to send from one phone to the other just that fast I mean this is just my thoughts on you know why it's like you know on these budget devices why they're leaving NFC and these basic features that you see on most higher end phones today and you know why they're leaving it out you know like I said the, the LG G Stylo, the ZT Warp Elite you know Especially when an older Warp phone has NFC, but the newest phone, the newest Warp phone, it don't have it. So I mean, you know, you know, you kind of, you kind of have to resort back to the original Volt, which is uh, a good phone as far as features go, as long as you don't mind a completely laggy phone. Because this phone here lags. This one, this phone here lags if you look at it. I mean, I'm just telling, I'm telling you like it is. The phone lagged if you look at it the wrong way. Um, but this phone is still 180 at most places unless you find it on sale somewhere. So I pretty much resort back to these two phones here, Kerasira Hydro Icon and the LG Volt 1, if I'm planning on using NFC. So all these cool phones that I have that are new, you know, they're just stripped, you know, of a lot of the basic features that you see on a lot of high-end phones. And on what they put on phones from a year or two or even three years past so give me your thoughts on this on NFC um, do you like it do you use it is it important to you um, let me know in the comment section below I would like to hear some feedback from some of y'all and let me know what y'all think about all of that uh, if you like this video give me that thumbs up I sure would appreciate it any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll answer you back as soon as I can. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so by hitting that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. Stay tuned for the next video.